Okay, so you've been in an accident, now what? Fortunately, no one was hurt, but your car's in tough shape and you need to get it fixed. Well, what do you know about body shops? Like any other business that provides a service, there are some really good body shops out there and some that just aren't. One of the very best in Rhode Island is this one, Reliable Collision in West Warwick. We're going into the world of the body shop today and we're gonna find out why Reliable is so good at what they do. Well, Randy, who's this you brought with you today? This is Harry. He's the company mascot here at Reliable Collision Repair. Take us through the process. The phone rings, it's someone who's been in an accident and now you and your staff here kind of spring into action. Yeah, first we establish whether their vehicle is safe to be driven or not and if it's been towed away by another facility. If it is, we'll send our tow truck to go pick up that vehicle, pay any charges that are owed on it. Uh, we'll also pick customers up at their home if they need and we'll bring them into our shop and we'll put them into one of our own rental cars. And if it's drivable, they just drive it into us and we take care of putting them in a rental car when they get here. Then you look at the vehicle and give them an estimate. We'll take a look at the vehicle, determine what the claims process is gonna be, whether it's gonna involve insurance. Then we'll uh, look at the vehicle to determine what the best way to go about handling the repair is. What makes us different here at Reliable Collision Repair is that I've worked hard to take a look at everything that happens after an accident. We try to give them peace of mind to take care of all of the problems and not just the collision repair aspect. Let's talk about the work that's done here in the shop. And, and I, I think people need to know that there's a, a lot of technology here. Maybe we could start with the laser frame straightening machine. Yeah. The measuring system that we utilize to measure customers' vehicles uh, uses laser technology. It measures the tolerances of the car within the thicknesses of a dime to make sure that the vehicle's brought back to exactly the specifications it was at prior to the accident. It can measure a whole multitude of different uh, places on the car. It's, uh, it's an expensive piece of equipment. Uh, I feel it's well worth it though in order to be able to document and show what was done. It also allows us to work on the vehicle while it's being measured. The process of welding and the welding technology has really come a long way in recent years. Yeah, there's been dramatic changes in the welding processes uh, that we see here in the collision repair aspect. The resistance welder that we have is what they refer to as a smart welder. The machine actually measures and tests the metal that it's going to be welding, sets itself, and then performs the weld and gives you an audible signal to let you know that the weld was performed properly. It makes it literally impossible to do an improper weld. Secondly, we have aluminum uh, welders, which again is something that's a little bit newer to the industry, but with the cars that are now coming out with high intensity use of aluminum, as well as ultra high strength steels, there's the need for aluminum as well as silicon bronze welding, all of which we have the equipment to do here. Well, Randy, as technology in the cars comes along, the technology to repair them has to keep up, I guess, right? Absolutely, not only that, also the training that we need to provide. Um, years ago was very basic and didn't have a lot of changes. Today, it takes constant upgrades and training in order for your technicians to be able to know what it is that they're working on, as well as what the proper way to repair it is, because an improper repair will have dramatic consequences later on if you're involved in another accident. Let's talk about paint and paint technology. Painting's changed dramatically from what it was years ago. They're extremely expensive, but they're extremely durable. They'll last a long time. The technology involved in color matching is to the point now that we utilize uh, digital cameras with computer systems to back them up to be able to identify the color and the best way to match that color on the car. What should people know about OEM parts versus aftermarket parts? What I have here, John, is a demonstration to show the difference between a factory OEM part and a aftermarket imitation part. Right. You'll see that both of these parts are designed to be the rear bracket for a, uh, in this case, it's a Mazda vehicle. And the original bracket, you'll see, has reinforcements on two places, and you'll notice that the aftermarket part has none. You'll notice that the bottom has been boxed in, and you'll notice on this side it's just a couple of thin pieces of steel. And also the gauge of metal that this is made from is almost double what this piece is made from. The price difference between the two of these is quite a bit different. This one obviously being more expensive, the OEM part, but if you feel the weight difference between the two, 
you'll see that the aftermarket part weighs less than half of what the yeah. original part uh, weighs. It shows the dramatic difference that you can encounter between factory and uh, imitation parts. Right. Randy, I want to ask you, we, we hear radio and TV commercials about insurance companies and the people have a choice if they've been in an accident. You don't have to go to the repair facility that your insurance company suggests or recommends that you do. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Uh, insurance companies have uh, agreements with certain shops. They'll direct their customers there because they have an agreement with those shops where they're getting discounts for their own benefit. So often that's the reason why they're directing you to go to those facilities. But customers have the right to have the car repaired wherever they choose. Uh, we've worked very hard myself, I'm a member of the Auto Body Association of Rhode Island, and we've worked very hard to make sure that people got that information through different laws that we had passed to make sure that the insurance companies did communicate that fact to the people. On your website and out on the sign out front, I see the Corvette. So tell us the story of the 67 Vet. The 67 Corvette that became the company logo uh, was something that came out of the creation of my mind from seeing uh, other car companies that had built what they call resto mods. It's a car that looks old, but it has all the technology and conveniences of a late model car. So we built that car here in the shop with our skilled technicians from the ground up. Everything from the frame uh, to the convertible top on that car is completely redone and custom. So it has the performance of a new car, but it has the body style of an old car. So I have to ask you, if you run out of loaner cars, do you let people use the vet? Uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Reliable Collision Repair is an auto intelligence recommended body shop in Rhode Island. They're located at 24 Begonia Street in West Warwick.